This is the key to worksheet 8.6 part 2 and in this uh, worksheet, on this worksheet you're trying to complete the loan amortization schedule for the first year of a car loan and you're told that the interest rate is 4.5% for six years and the amount you borrowed is $35,000. So this loan is in the amount of $35,000 and so that's the payout. Now remember that in a um, car loan you're looking at an installment plan so basically the total monthly payment the total monthly payment will be the same throughout the schedule throughout the loan period it's the uh, interest rate uh, the interest and the principal that changes and obviously the the principal balance will change as well okay so so remember the formula for finding the monthly car payment on a uh, installment plan and the same thing we use the same formula for for house payment as well for a mortgage payment so here's the formula payment will equal all right so it's the amount you borrow times the rate divided by the number of months in a year so this will always be 12 divided by and then in the denominator you have 1 minus 1 plus r divided by n raised to the negative nt power Okay, and so in our in our problem, we got to figure out what these monthly payments are. That's what we have to figure out. So our monthly payment will equal, and then this is thirty five thousand dollars. So thirty five thousand dollars times the rate, which we're told is four point five percent. So remember, you got to change that to a decimal. So point zero four five divided by in the number of installments per year which is 12 okay so that's your numerator divided by and then the denominator you have 1 minus in parentheses 1 plus 0 0.045 the rate divided by n which is 12 and in parentheses you need to put negative 12 in times and then the time here is six years so n will be uh, t will be six okay now let's use the calculator. So when using the calculator, you've got to be very careful when using the calculator. And we're going to round off. You have to round off to the nearest cent, so the nearest hundred. So remember, your, your payments, if you, if you look at your own payment, it's not a whole dollar amount. There's some cents included as well. So don't round this off to the nearest whole dollar. Okay, so we're going to get, in the, in the numerator, we're going to have 35 I'm going for this here. So 35,000 times 0 0.045 divided by 12. Close that parentheses. Now divide by. Now put that in, in put that bracket in parentheses. So parentheses 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0 0.045 divided by 12. Close that parentheses and you're going to raise it. Open the parentheses now you're doing your exponent so the exponent is negative 12 times 6 close the parentheses so you're closing the exponent now you got to close the denominator so you're going to close that denominator all right and then you get five hundred fifty five dollars and fifty nine cents so five hundred fifty five dollars and fifty nine cents so that's your monthly payment so all along this First, the total payment due each month will be $555.59. Okay, so all along there is what you're going to put all along here. Okay? Okay, so I went ahead and I went and I placed all the monthly payments. Okay, now the next thing you got to do is remember this. So this is what you pay each month. Part of this payment goes towards your interest and the rest goes towards the principal. The part that goes towards the principal is the part that decreases your outstanding balance. Okay. So remember that when we're dealing with an installment plan, you're looking at simple interest. So the simple interest formula is what you're going to use to find your interest each month. So the interest, simple interest formula is interest equals principal times rate times time. Okay. All right, so in, in this particular case, in the very first one, to find the interest, you're going to say, you're going to say 35,000, that's your principal right here, okay, times the rate, which is 0 0.045, 
times the time. Now that's one month. You're looking at just one month period. So you got to convert that to years though. So one month is one twelfth of a year. So you got to say one twelfth. All right. And then we're going to get 35. So let's figure out what that is. So you're going to say 35 times 0 0.045. And then times 1 12th means divide by 12. So divide by 12 equal, and you get $131.25. So that goes here, $131.25. So that means, that means of this amount, this went towards the interest, the rest goes towards the principal. So what amount goes towards the principal? All right, so that's going to be, you're going to say $555.59 minus 131.25. That's what goes here. So you're going to say 555.59 minus 131.25 equals $424 and 34 cents okay so that amount goes towards the outstanding balance so that to get this you're going to say this minus this all right so 35,000 minus 424 dollars and 34 cents equals and then you get 34,575 dollars and 66 cents okay all right so that's your first month Okay, now, your second month, we got to figure out the interest for the second month. Now, you're going to notice that as you go through this, the interest, the interest you have to pay each month decreases. The principal, the amount that goes towards the principal, principal will increase. And so that's why this is going to be decreasing. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out this one. All right, so, so the interest for the second month. So the interest is going to be the amount that's left to pay, now that 35000 is this amount here, so you got to use this amount. So you're going to say $34,575.66 times 0 0.045 times 1 12th. Okay? So the only thing that changes in all of this when you're when you, uh, using a formula is your principal. The rate stays the same, the time stays the same. All right, now using the calculator, you're going to get, all right, so 34000 so that amount, times 0 0.045 times 1 divided by 12 or, or just say divide by 12 and you get this. So $129.66. Okay, you got a round from nearest 100. So remember the, the thousands place if that's 5 or bigger, this becomes 6. Okay? Alright, so that amount goes towards your, your um, interest. So that's how much you have to pay towards your uh, in interest. So the rest of this will go towards your principal, all right? So, so you're going to say the uh, $555.59 minus $129.66, subtract that. So let's see what we get. So 555.59 minus 129.66 equals, so you get $425.93. So that will go will decrease your principal. So that's going to go towards your principal. So your new your new outstanding balance will be $34,575.66 minus this. Okay? And so let's see what we get. Uh, $34,575.66 minus $425.93 equals, and you should get $34,149.73, okay? And then you continue the process. So we're going to do about two more, and then I'll just go ahead and write in the rest. So then you're going to do the same thing for the next month. So you're going to use this balance right here. So you're going to say $34,149.73. The rate, remember that's the only thing that changes. The rate is still 0 0.045, and you're dealing with monthly uh, installments, so one twelfth. So let's see what interest you have to pay. So notice the interest is decreasing and the amount that goes towards the principal is increasing and your balance is decreasing. So $34,149.73 times 0 0.045 and then divide by 12. So you get $128.06, right? Okay, $128.06. Okay, so then your 
principal, the amount that goes towards the principal, then will be this minus this. So $555.59 minus $128.06. All right, so let's see what we get. So we subtract that. When we subtract that, you're going to get uh, $427.53. All right, so, so that's going to go towards your, your, your balance. So 34,049.73 minus this will give us, let's see, 427.53, and that's going to give us three, $33,722.20, okay? And then let's do one more row, and so again, you take that amount, you find the interest for the fourth month. So fourth month, you're going to say $33,722.20 times 0 0.045 times 112, okay? And so, so let's see, you're going to get times 0 0.045 divided by 12. So you get $126.46, right? Not 45, 46, okay? And so your principal will be this minus this, the amount that goes towards your principal, all right? So that's going to be... Um, so let's see, so 555.59 minus 126.46 equal, so $429.13. So that amounts to go towards your balance. So that'll be 33,722.20 minus 429.13. All right, so let's see what we get. So 33,722.2 minus 429.13. Point one three equal, so that's thirty three thousand two hundred ninety three dollars and seven cents. Okay, and then the process goes on. So it's a very tedious process, but it's just getting you to practice on on how to how to come up with your own amortization schedule for the year. Now your your bank's supposed to give you the schedule for all in this case six years. All right. Okay. So that will um, be the end of this worksheet. The rest, you can just do it just like we've been doing this.